Hello, I'm Angelica Dongalo. I'm Ashley Trott. And I'm Jacqueline Johnston. We're the Daily Californian's summer news editors, bringing you a recap of this summer's major events. Berkeley resident Maceo Smith was fatally shot in broad daylight on May 15th at the intersection of Durant Avenue and Bowditt Street. Smith's death marked the second of three homicides in May and the sixth homicide of 2008. <clears throat> UC Berkeley officials announced the 4,447 incoming freshmen will constitute the largest freshman class in campus history. On June 16th, Mark Nadoff succeeded Robert Dines as president of the University of California. The next day, on June 17th, UCPD officers sealed off the Oak Grove near Memorial Stadium, while university hired arborists began cutting down the supplies of the activists who had been inhabiting the trees for more than a year and a half. The tree sitters are protesting Repose Student Athletic Center to be built at the site. Since December 2006, the university has been in a legal battle with the city of Berkeley and two local groups, the Panoramic Hill Association and the California Oak Foundation, over the proposed athletic center. On June 18th, a judge gave the campus the go-ahead to begin construction of the athletic center, but an appellate court put the injunction preventing construction back into place until at least August 25th. On June 20th, the last remaining branch of Cody's Books closed its doors after succumbing to financial difficulties. July 1, former Haas School of Business Dean Tom Campbell filed papers to run for governor in 2010. July 13th, Berkeley City Council member Donna Spring died of complications from rheumatoid arthritis. On July 14th, UC workers system-wide went on strike in protest of their labor contracts, despite a court-ordered injunction prohibiting the strike. And on August 13th, a UCPD officer found Bryce University student, 21-year-old Matthew Wilson, who had been missing for the last eight months. The officer found Wilson in Dwinnell Hall and detained him on suspicion of theft. Pick up the Daily Cal's first fall issue on Monday, August 25th. This is Angelica Dongalo, Ashley Trott, and Jacqueline Johnston for, for the, the Daily, Daily Californian. Californian.